Hello from Sweden and welcome back to another pick a card reading. Before we start, I just want to say that during the month of August, you can get my Oracle deck, the Little Guy deck, with free worldwide shipping plus 10% discount if you use the coupon code Lionsgate capital letters on my website nordicl.com. Okay, back to today's reading. Archangel Michael has a special message for you. And I have prepared three different paths with oracle cards. The one that you feel the most drawn to will be your reading today. As always, we're also using different tarot decks in each of the piles. So we have pile one with this card. We have pile two with this card. And we have pile three with this card. Okay, this is the options for today's reading. If you need more time, you can pause the video. Otherwise you can scroll down to the comment section where you will find your timestamps. And I will see you guys in your separate readings. Hello, pile number one, and welcome to your Archangel Michael message. You felt drawn to this card. Let's see what it says here behind tape. And we have the light. Hmm. Okay, let's just put it here and let's dive into your reading. We're gonna prepare the first half with three or four tarot cards. I don't know yet. Let's just see how many comes out. So what is the special message from Archangel Michael to pile number one? Yeah, it's four. Let's do these four. And we're also gonna take two cards from my own Oracle deck. And if you missed the intro, during the month of August, you can get my Oracle deck with free worldwide shipping plus 10% discount if you use the coupon code Lionsgate capital letters on my website nordicl.com. Okay, so two cards. <clears throat> yeah, I think it's, oh, three, okay. <laughs> and we also have two chakra cards here. Oh yeah, let me take a breath. <laughs> and Let's just pick these up. It's easier like this. Let's see what we got here. Queen of Wands on stage. Look at this lion here on the back side. Also it makes me think of the fifth house. The fifth house is the house of Leo, but also creativity. Here you're on stage sharing something. Queen of Wands, okay. The light. We have four of pentacles. Mm. <laughs> Four of Pentacles, you want this to give you money here, it seems. The starving, I heard, like the starving artist. The starving artist. Death. Wow, look at this peaceful card. Completely open here. Very beautiful death card. And nine, whoa, <laughs> and nine of swords. Wow. <laughs> Waking up here in horror completely sweaty and worried. Okay, I think we're just gonna do all of these and then we'll see what the messages is. So we have change with fall. Here we have kindness and we have home. Wow, you're transitioning some, you're... Yeah, you're going, it's like something is there's like a big change going on in your life right now and even here I think like I think like Archangel Michael is trying like to kind of comfort you and say that the situation that you are in now is going to change like a lot the situation that you are in now it seems to be you know look at these two cards you know <laughs> pretty stressful I mean, he's like clawing the table here because he really wants something here. So you really, really want something here. You're starving for it almost. 
and you know it, it's it's stressing you even maybe you have a hard time sleeping and look at this I mean wow he's like completely sweaty <laughs> yeah and it seems to be look at this peaceful both these cards you know the light really coming here and this peaceful liberating very dead card I think you know I think your situation is going to change in a way that is going to be very liberating for you. I see, I see, oh, I only see, Ar like, I just see Archangel Michael nodding and saying yes, 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 almost, like, just confirming, like, the messages. Um, you're going to be liberated from something is what I hear, and I think it has something to do with what kind of situation that you are in now that is stressing you and you're clawing here you want you you're it's stressing you because you want it to be fixed you want these four coins it's very important for your security for your safety maybe we have home here makes me think yeah your roots uh your home your work yeah for your like for you to feel good but with the change here um one of the favorite transitional cards in my own deck here, or it is my favorite because it's very peaceful. Fall time, you know, is a natural, it's it's natural release of something. So there is a natural transition that you're going through. Look at the stars here also. Uh, and also the kindness card here makes me feel like you're going to, it's going to soften up your life. <laughs> yeah, something is like harsh and something is, you're struggling with something. And with Queen of Wands, it's like, you don't lack the talent, you don't lack the resources, there's nothing kind of wrong with you, but still, like, you, there's something in your life that is challenging. And there will be light coming in here very strongly into your situation. I feel like Archangel Michael, like, his task is mostly to protect you. And to kind of like it's he's like he's 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 around you. There's I feel like he's saying like he can't interfere, like it's it's like almost like you would like him to come in and take the pain away. <laughs> yeah, it's like you're telling me like, can you come here and like take these heavy emotions and these heavy thoughts away? And I, if I feel like he is protecting you, so it doesn't kind of become too much, but. There's also, he's, I feel like he's saying there's one part kind of that you need to face yourself because it's necessary for your own purge here, for your own transformation. That part is necessary for your healing. So I see him like almost like walking around you, but he doesn't go deep into your energy because that would be uh, crossing kind of almost the line for your own experience. But he is there and his watching you go through this almost like climbing this mountain overcoming this mountain and he is protecting you he is protecting you very strongly uh, against any outside darker influences and energies that can make it worse for you almost mm. we have a uh, <laughs> we have a balanced root chakra with i am connected goes good together with home and we have a balanced crown chakra with i sense higher consciousness wow this is so this is what you what you are doing now and this is nice because this is the root chakra the bottom chakra you know of the seven chakras and then the crown chakra is the chakra on top so it seems like you're really going through something that's going to make you so much more balanced balanced between your physical re reality and everything that you need in your physical reality to survive and also to th thrive and feel good. But it's also the connection with your intuition, your higher self, your purpose and your spiritual path, the path of personal growth. So it's like you are, these, these two things are going to be very connected. That's kind of going to be like the end result. And it's almost like you're gonna pop up and you're gonna like, I don't know how to say that, like a, a, close the door with a death, you know, and I, I've been feeling this a lot. I like being removed, closing like a chapter of your life. Yeah, you're closing a chapter of your life and almost becoming reborn into a new beginning. Yeah, a new beginning. We have a lot of Oracle cards. I don't even know if we can fit them on the table. So I think we're going to like 
move <clears throat> let's move these a little bit yeah let's just yeah let's move this a little bit too <laughs> and let's see what we have here for you summon the rain <clears throat> <laughs> this it looks a little bit like it, there's a lot of Archangel Michael energy in this card actually even if it's an Indian here with the blue yeah hmm summon the rain yeah releasing keep once again I see I see him what it's like well, I keep feeling like he's on the he's on the outside he's like watching you and he wants you to know yes I'm here and he, once again he also wants you to know this is something that you need to go through yourself yourself in, in a sense that they can't just take away the emotions from you. They can't just fix the problem. They can't just... Because it's, it's, a, it's a soul wound or it's a karma or something. So they want you kind of to heal so that you can liberate yourself from a deeper level. Because if somebody just takes away the pain from us, you know, we haven't actually balanced the karma. We haven't released the energy uh we haven't released this on a deeper energetic level so then we have to come back another lifetime maybe and do this so <laughs> this is like you're doing something that needs to be done is what i hear and but they are definitely guiding you and they're definitely sending like healing energy to you and they're like doing they they're doing everything they can is what i hear and i'm saying they because it's just not not just archangel michael but it's also your spirit team and your spirit guides yeah so summon the rain here makes me feel the, the need for healing look at this nine of swords waking up here at night and sweat <laughs> yeah either sweat or healing water rain here <laughs> yeah so let that healing rain water is good for you keep yourself hydrated and maybe even like soaking in like epsom salt or salt baths or something like that i think it's good for you as well because there's like tension in your body physical tension i for some of you it could be like your nervous system is stressed it could be that you have headaches back aches uh, you know, when there's a lot of energies, I always get like a really stuffy nose. So it could be that you have a stuffy nose. You have all these physical things and the physical things that you're experiencing is just like a byproduct of the energies that you are going through that is surrounding you, that's within you, that's outside you, the cords and all these things. So summon the rain, cleanse, heal, and... <clears throat> <laughs> you're full on pile number one yeah this is like happening now <laughs> yeah this is like full on happening all these things so yeah i i i, you, I can't even say like don't do it because you're in the middle of it <clears throat> look at this prioritize self-care you do so much for others it ti it's time for you to experience the love you deserve and let others help you yeah this is like really prioritizing yourself and also not looking outside yourself for something on the outside to fulfill you. But but like rather filling your own cup. Yeah, fill your own cup. Mm. It's an urgency for you to heal and take care of yourself. It's like you can't even do anything else than do this. <laughs> because this is like, it's in your face almost. All these emotions, <clears throat> all these needs, all these wants, all this lack. I don't know what's going on. But it's like really it's in your face. So it's really like... Uh, you're thinking about this a lot. You're feeling intense feelings at times. So it's there. It needs to be addressed. Yeah. And it's like your life doesn't even let you escape from this. Every time it calms down a little bit. It's like it's, it's, like it's going to continue into your, into your until you have closed the cycle of healing something that <clears throat> needs that, that is very... Uh, has been pushed up in this lifetime for you to heal. Move your body. Thank you, angels, for motivating me to move my body and my energy. Yeah, it's all about moving like stagnated energies and moving you towards prioritizing yourself, towards self-love, uh, towards well-being, to being emotionally balanced, to being physically balanced, and also like balanced in your life. Like you like your job, you like your home, you like your neighbors, you're okay with your family or you found a way like to make it work for you. It's all about making it work for you so that you're happy in your own life. <clears throat> happy in your own life. Yeah, healthy and happy. Healthy, happy and strong. Virgo, <laughs> yeah, perfect. Yeah, <clears throat> Virgo, I'm saying perfect because Virgo is connected to the sixth house. Sixth house is the house of health, you know, and the work as well. Practicality, patience, organizations, and details. 
Virgo is the sign that learns things. So yeah, very highly intellectual, actually Virgo energy and very practical, very grounded. And uh, things are in order. <laughs> yeah, things are in order. So yeah, healthy and strong and kind of like having your everyday life in order. Everyday life matters like a lot. So it's very important like uh, where you live, where you work, how you make money, how you support yourself, what you eat, how what's your connection to your physical body. It's like you're this all these things are kind of like you it's like almost like you need to address all these things. There's a lot of things going on in your life, pile number one actually. <laughs> yeah, all things has to be I wanted to say perfect. I don't like that word because you know I've been struggling being a perfectionist and it's very, it's not nice <laughs> because it's very, there's a lot of like stress behind it. But Virgo are known for being perfectionist and like very critical, self-critical and also critical to work towards other people. It's like something like overcoming the self-criticizing voice within you uh, or other people criticizing you and finding your own uh, happiness, <laughs> like a happiness almost, yeah. Finding your own happiness and like shutting that voice down and uh, that saying that you're not good enough for something like that. You are like with the Queen of Wands, you know, you are very talented. Something like with your gifts and your talents and your creative ability that is somehow meant to put you up on stage and be seen. Some of you could have a fear for being seen, but there is like there's a wound there as well. You're meant somehow to be seen. I feel like you want to hide away a little bit. Yeah, this is your like <laughs> this is like big time your whole personality, your whole identity is being turned inside out and it's like almost like life is forcing you to look at every aspect of your life, you know, your health, your physical body, your work, your career, everything, your relationship with maybe with your kids, with your parents, with your friends, with yourself, with your god, I like everything. And you're, I feel like you're in the middle of this. It's, yeah, <clears throat> you're in the, in the, in the, in the midst, in the midst. Yeah, in the middle. Yeah, just like in the middle. Which means that you have walked halfway. <laughs> you have walked halfway. You're in the middle. And just right now, there seems to be like a lot of things going on. So I'm tapping into Archangel Michael again. I just see him standing next to me. So he's like, once again, like you're in the middle of this. You're dealing with all these things, but they are around you, you know. He's always there overlooking what's going on. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, Akashic Records clearing old stories, releasing past lives and freedom. Yeah, this is what you're doing. You are doing this. So you're working on really on the level of past lifetimes and karma. And this is what you're in. I feel with the death card in the liberation, there's going to be another phase of your life coming after this. But now you're, you walked halfway, we said, you're in the midst of it. There is like, almost like a little bit chaotic energies in like every area. There's a need for you to maybe have a different relationships to relationship to food, to your body, to exercise, to your everyday routines, to your job, to your home. Like there's a lot of things that needs like adjustments or maybe complete makeovers, you know? <laughs> yeah, maybe complete changes and shifts, you know? So, and I think, you know, I don't know how long you're going to be in this like phase because there's a lot, a lot of things to be addressed. There's a lot of spiritual growth. There's a lot of healing, a lot of positive changes, you know, and you're walking steadily towards, you know, healthy, putting down with home here, putting down healthy roots with kindness here, you know, releasing like, I don't know, aggressive energies or lower, just lower vibrations. Lower vibrations is everything from fear, depression, anxiety, worry, boredom, you know, all these things, you're releasing that and like your energy is becoming softer, your life is becoming softer, things around you steadily becoming better and better and better. So you're walking, you know, it's like you're in the midst of this right now, but you're also like kind of walking forward, but it's like almost like you're going to come out of like a bigger chunk of heavy work. Yeah, I see you, <laughs> keep seeing you in the middle of this heavy <laughs> it's funny because like I see like a bubble of energy 
this is like a bubble like they show me and you're in the middle of it and then you're in the middle like you're the center and then I see all the things in your life like filling this bubble and there's just like chaos here and this this is on this and this and this and this and you're just standing there in the middle you go like whoa you know <laughs> yeah so and somehow you know I feel like you're gonna come out of that pop out of the bubble yeah you're gonna like pop out of the bubble and I don't know how long this is going to take or something like that but you will pop out of the bubble and when you do do that I think this is going to be like whew, yeah like this is going to be like really your rebirth you're going to feel like wow damn that was nice to get rid of all that heavy baggage and you're going to have your life in like order in a whole complete new way yeah in a very new way and this is going to feel nice for you very very good for you yeah you're going to feel very healthy and strong and balanced clarity yeah and also clear yeah because <laughs> you know I felt like I was standing here in the middle and I felt like oh okay I don't even know which end to start almost so yeah but the, you're working your way through one thing after another clarity will come to you here and the, her her Kimmer diamond yeah the diamond here anyways and you know it takes a diamond billions of years to form into becoming this very valuable and sought 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 yeah, i can't even say that you know <laughs> sought sought no, i can't say it wow annoying <laughs> anyways <laughs> yeah you know everybody wants the diamonds yeah they're very yeah i'm not even gonna try yeah I mean, you probably know what i'm trying to say i can spell it <laughs> yeah let's just leave that so yeah <clears throat> you're becoming this valuable diamond here. You went through all this pressure, you know, because the diamond goes through all this pressure before, for billions of years because before it forms to become a diamond. So you're going through like a lot of pressure right now from different way, uh, different places and also within you. You're like a boiling kettle almost, you know, at times like, wow. You know, some of you maybe, you know, uh, if you have kundalini energy within you, you know, there's a lot of heat. Even this feels like almost like the chakra shushumna channel here. And, you know, the fire burning within you. There is a fire and a light burning within you. Yeah, this is where it starts. It starts, it's coming from within you. But it's also like because it's within you and because... Uh, we live in a reality of duality. There's also like outside situations and people and karma. Everything is like pushing and pressuring. There's a lot of pressure. So what's going to happen here is like you're going to pop, like pop out of the bubble. I don't know. And like form into this very sharp diamond here. And we have green dragon. Helps you tune into the secrets of nature receive answers and guidance from nature align with your divine essence look at the key here so the key nature yeah nature definitely helps you and also virgo energy to ground yourself yeah physical body don't forget about that to take care of your physical needs food exercise uh meditation also spiritual needs yeah you need to address everything you can't just focus on one area this all of areas needs to be addressed and almost at the same time even if you're working through one thing at a time because I think like <laughs> you're in the middle and then something <laughs> comes towards you and you're like oh I have to deal with this and then that comes down and then something comes from the back here and you're like oh I have to deal with this so you're dealing with like a lot of things yeah hmm green dragon is very nice here actually coming here with the key helps you tune into the secrets of nature I think when you are like kind of like out of this bubbly face where there's, there's just like a lot of pressure on you and I think this is right now I think you're going to feel more connected than ever yeah look at this we had the root chakra balanced root chakra I am connected and the balanced crown chakra I sense higher consciousness so yeah this is really like do your seems like you're going through right now like a massive purge of some kind Mm. so let's just do three yeah this came out very clearly so let's just do those <clears throat> and see what else we get here seven of pentacles knight of swords yeah look i like this knight of swords because it's a very different knight of swords look at this, somebody screaming at you criticizing and then these two almost look the same so yeah it's that inner voice <laughs> yeah maybe you're, the biggest fight is within you fighting with your own mind fighting with your own thoughts Mm. and three wow love this three of ones lion once again here comes up here you had lion on the wall here now you are riding that lion adventures yeah you look at this portal opening up for you yeah new adventures new adventure is 
new adventures are in the horizon but this is what you're working through right now <clears throat> that we talked about but this is just one big bubble that you're facing now and it seems to be a lot of uh, things, <laughs> a lot of things in that bubble that needs to be addressed. Yeah, I'm sorry for that. But yeah, this is just sometimes it's just like this, you know, it's just a lot of things happening and, but you will come out of it. And the thing that will help you is to focus on your health, your well-being, and also the self-criticizing voice or the voice within your mind and not identify yourself with. Don't get lost in all these thoughts because if you do, you will wake up like this completely sweaty completely in fear over the future and it, this is kind of but this still this is also doing that is not wrong <laughs> because everything that you're facing now this is the this is the healing also so just uh just stay confident with the queen of wands and just work yourself through this archangel michael is around you they are guiding you and they are protecting you and you will overcome this phase of your life and you will be ready for the new adventures here on the horizon and being more connected new adventures and also being more connected than ever you know so it's going to be wonderful for you there's going to be a very nice transition here for you mm. Okay, yeah, <laughs> Nessie came here also <laughs> to say hi. So yeah, pile number one, this was your reading. If you want to share your story in the comment section, please feel free to do so. Either way, pile number one, I wish you all the best and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye. Hello, pile number two and welcome to your Archangel Michael message. You felt drawn to this very cool card here. Let's see. I felt like, oh, this is you almost, yeah. <laughs> Wild creature. Let's see what we have here. Nature. Yeah, this is your own wild nature. Hmm. So let's keep it there and let's dive into the first half of your reading. And we're going to do that with three or four tarot cards. Let's see how many show up. So what is the special message from Archangel Michael to to pile number two. Yeah, it's four cards. Okay. Let's just, let's just put them like this. It's easier for me to lift them up. And we're also gonna take uh, two cards from my own Oracle deck. If you missed the intro during the month of August, you can get it with free worldwide shipping plus 10% discount. If you use the coupon code Lionsgate, capital letters, on my website, nordicl.com. Okay, that's out of the way. That's two cards. Yeah, let's do these two. Okay, and we have two chakra cards as well. So let's see what we have here. Wow, <laughs> three of swords. The lovers. Hmm. Four of Wands, happy ending. <laughs> happy ending to something, to a love situation here, maybe even. Okay. <clears throat> and nine of, what, nice. <laughs> nine of Cups. Yeah, very nice. Wishes fulfilled. Wow. <laughs> so, nature. Why? <laughs> oh, I'm getting a lot of messages. Yeah, so nature here. Once again, this felt like you. <clears throat> This felt like like you are you are awakening you are you you are becoming your wild free self and you are becoming very beautiful. Look how activated you are here. Look at all these light uh, tattoos here. Everything is activating and these like uh, uh, stag uh, what is it called horns? <laughs> yeah, yeah, like shape shifting into your spirit animal. It doesn't have to be like the stag. I'm saying that because like stag is my spirit animal. So uh, it could be like your. This makes me feel like your nature shifting into. I don't know what spirit. Maybe we should do a reading like that. What's your spirit animal? Of course, not of all your. All of you are gonna have stag as your spirit animal. You, they say you have like one that's really like mirroring kind of your personality that you're you're very connected with and something with this like your nature embodying your true nature your w wildness in some way so you're going through this process of doing that and naturally because you're doing that with three of swords wow look at this pain here there's a lot of things coming up there's a lot of past pain coming up for you karmic pain past life time pain 
pain in this lifetime in love situations maybe or like in uh situations in your life because the lovers is also about choices so it could be like other things in your life that's bringing you triggers there's a lot of triggers coming up and it could be between you and a loved one but it could also be in other areas of your life like i said but with the four of wands and the page of cups here i just want to say there's a happy ending in the horizon where the wish is fulfilled you're content and the four of wands can talk about marriage, but it also talks about stability, security, celebration. So very happy once again. Yeah. Once again, you know, I see Archangel Michael. He's just here, like uh, he's he's not really channeled right through me. Sometimes he does like that, but today he's just like here in the room almost. And he's just like I just like can tap into his energy or see him, and he's just like nodding and saying less. So he's confirming this message that there will be a happy ending here. So let's see what else we got challenge <clears throat> yeah challenge and three of swords i mean three of swords is always a challenge you know because it means uh sadness sorrow tears heartbreak uh and dream oh <laughs> precious you yeah precious you you're really you're there's a very sincere heart dream that you have and almost like you know you want a happy ending yeah, you, of course you want. Who doesn't want a happy ending? You know. <laughs> so yeah, you're dreaming of this happy ending. It's very dear to you because it's very close to your heart. To and it seems here like it will happen. Yeah, it will happen. Let's see. We have a green card. So this is the heart chakra. Heart chakra underactive. I can be for I I love, but I can be unforgiving. Underactive. Yeah, there's some past pain, or there's some pain between you and the loved one, and it's like a blockage. So underactive heart chakra. And look at this. We have the third eye. I see and I trust my intuition. Balance. So this is like. Oh, yeah, I'm getting Archangel Michael now. <laughs> yeah, this is the message he's coming in. It's like you have to navigate yourself through the past pain, through the pain to see the truth. You and someone belong together. You and someone belong together. But it's up to you, you know, it's up to you to navigate yourself through the pain and through the lies, because, you know, Archangel Michael with the Sword of Truth, he, he talks a lot about his energy helps us with illusions, illusions, seeing through illusions, cutting through illusions, cutting cords with, you know, karma, cutting cords with toxicity, protecting our energy and seeing the truth and moving towards love, like true love, uh, love in a relationship, but like also the true love of the li life and universe and people and you're loving yourself and all these things. So really moving away, you know, from from this. So it's uh, kind of like I feel like it's up to you because of course this is general reading, so it's gonna be like different situations here, and all of not all of them is definitely not all of them. Are, of course, are not gonna be love situations, but it's like almost like you need to see the truth about something or someone. And you need to use your third, you need to use your intuition. You can't even listen to your heart uh, because it feels like for, for at times you're very triggered and it, there will be past hurt, heart pain coming up, making it impossible for you to tap into your heart almost. Uh, so you need to now you you will you have to listen to your heart too, but you need to navigate the the pain of the heart to reach the truth of the heart. You know, <laughs> yeah. So it's all it's all about getting to the truth, because so you can look at the situation and the person with clear eyes. Uh, and, and with as much truth as possible because you, because your intuition is really speaking very clearly to you. Why is all these things happening? Yes, we talked about that because you're becoming your true authentic self. You're gone. You're going through this awakening. You're going through spiritual and personal growth. It's natural. You're all activated here. You're becoming your, uh, you're shape shifting or you're emerging kind of with your spirit animals personality. This is who you truly are. I wish we could do a reading like that, but I mean, how are we going to do that to so many animals? <laughs> yeah. So yeah, if you have any ideas, share in the comment section. But yeah, <clears throat> uh, you're becoming wild and free. Yeah, and it's like you're breaking barriers, you're breaking boundaries, you're breaking things. And it's like, 
You're meant to be with someone that is matching your vibration, your wildness. Yeah, you're ma it has to be somebody that's like in this energy. So if there's going to be somebody that's like completely not in their energy, there's going to be like a lot of like conflict almost. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of like navigating and trying to see the truth. But <clears throat> once again, there's a happy ending here in the horizon. And it's very important that you kind of follow your heart. <laughs> and like I said, the truth of the heart, not the pain of the heart. The part of the heart that's still open and connect and connected with your own truth and higher truths. And also like trusting your intuition and your higher self. <clears throat> because there's another, there's a lot of shadows here. And there's a lot of shadow aspects here within you, within the other person maybe. And there's a lot of things coming in between. But once again, I think this is completely normal because it could be that you are going through a transformation. Even the other person is going through a massive transformation. So it's like things need to be purged here. Things need to be purged. Yeah, I keep on tapping into Archangel Michael. He's just here. He's like nodding again, you know. So like, yeah, yes, is this, is this right? He's like, yeah, yes, yes. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, wow. Okay, I love this. I love this. Give and receive. Yeah, so, so for many of you, this is like really a relationship uh, situation. But give and receive, if you, this doesn't resonate with you, this is also to be able to give and receive the love from the universe. You know, to be able to manifest and to be able to, to uh, receive the manifestations, but also to be able to have gratitude and to be able to give to the world in one way or another. But let's go back to love because that was so nice. Look how connected it is here, the truth. It could be for some of you that there is a blockage between you and your loved one in the third eye. It's like you, there's a conflict. You just don't understand each other. And the heart. Wow, this is amazing. <laughs> Look at this. Third eye. And this is third eye. And then we have the heart. And they're touching each other's hearts. So third eye and heart is, is very, it's, it's, it, this is very nice. <laughs> this is very, very nice. Yeah, because it's very important for your connection. This is definitely for some of you, this is, is a higher connection. But I think for some of you, you also have like almost like a fake twin in your life or like a fake or like a person that's not the one. And this is where you need to navigate yourself because I cannot tell you. And uh, yeah, I cannot tell you because this is general reading. How can I know? You know, there's so many people listening and I don't want you to think something. You need to uh, tr tr listen to your intuition and feel in your heart because we can know how true love is supposed to feel like. There should be some kind of very healthy. Of course, you know, I I'm in a twin flame relationship. It's very intense, you know, at times. And now it's so much better because it's been eight years, I think. Yeah, eight years. So we, we work through like a lot. <laughs> and our relationship is very, very nice, actually. But there's still a lot of things coming up because as the twin flame, you know, holds the essence uh, of the highest light. So this mirror of light brings out everything that's like kind of impure within us. So there's like constantly things coming up. But that doesn't mean it's a toxic relationship. So we have to see what's, this is like when we need to navigate ourselves to see this good for me or this bad for me, you know? So for some of you, it's like, there's like a, a karmic cord or something like that. And there is like behind that, there is the true one, maybe true love, maybe. So yeah, that was also a message. But yeah, <clears throat> with the give and receive here, four of wands and nine of cups and the lovers. I mean, look at this. There's beautiful love here. It's like all, all, everything that you have dreamt of. For many of you, you're dreaming of this person, maybe even. <clears throat> or you're sensing this person. This is because the bond is so strong. I know, you know, I had visions of my twin flame for like 14 years before I actually met him. And I was wondering, like, who is this man always popping up, you know? Very clear. I saw him with glasses. He had a little bit of a beard then, you know, in my visions. And this is how he looked like exactly when I saw him. And first time I met him, I was in the Vipassana Center here in Sweden. And I was going to do like serve for 10 days. I was standing on the ground. He just came walking and my jaw just dropped, you know, seeing somebody for 14 years in your visions. And then he just comes walking. And I was like, I was such a powerful experience. Yeah, very powerful experience. <clears throat> I can't even explain it. Yeah, <clears throat> it was like a massive spiritual awakening just there and then. So yeah, that's what that that's when my twin flame journey started so let's forget about that so yeah it's a, this is the energy it's very powerful it's very strong and it can conquer anything 
it can conquer any. I also have to say, yeah, I also had a fake twin before I actually met my real twin. Just before, I actually was with my fake twin when this happened, <laughs> when my real twin came walking there. So yeah, <clears throat> so <clears throat> it's normal. That's also a normal thing. Uh, twin flames to the side. This could also be like a soulmate connection, a very high... Sp it's a high... It, it, sometimes, you know, we put twin flames relationships kind of on a pedestal. You know, everybody wants the best thing. But, you know, this is just the ego with concepts and trying to, you know, put things in orders. All <laughs> relationships are beautiful. And in the end, you know, there's not even twin flames because there's only one energy. We're, there's oneness, you know. This is the highest perspective. We're just the source energy. It's just the I am. So it could also be a very high uh, spiritual uh, soul uh, mate connection here, but it seems to be. I I I I I didn't want to go towards love, but it, it's written all over this reading. Even with nature here, you becoming your true self, you becoming your true self. Of course, you're also gonna attract your true mate almost. And for many of us, you know, we have somebody we were meant to be with because it is in our healing. It is in our best interest. Sometimes also people think, you know, yeah, I'm walking the spiritual path. I'm tired of relationships and things like that. If you really feel like this is not resonating, this could be it's not your reading today. And you can check one of the other readings. And sometimes it's just like that. None of the readings, you know, resonate. So that to decide, yes, you know, you are becoming your authentic self. And because of this, there's a lot of past karma a lot of past pain some of you are working kind of through your last karmic relationship uh, and this last karmic relationship is very painful for you i think with the tree of source and challenge here it's really like heart crushing and but you have to know this is going it's heart crushing because it's a very deep karma uh, with these type of emotions that you have with this person and but after that <laughs> comes the most beautiful love you know uh yeah it comes the most beautiful love give and receive look how connected you are you know you understand each other it's so beautiful yeah the heart yeah you're very you're very beautiful oh this is, was very very nice <laughs> yeah very nice let's see what else we got your vibration is rising this is a time of great spiritual growth for you yes you are evolving to occupy a higher energetic frequency yes we have number 43 so yeah it could be that you know you're 42 turning 43 or you're 43 years old some of you something with 43 could be important we also have 24 here so yeah your vibration is rising yeah this is the time of great spiritual growth yes this is where a lot of things is happening here this is for many of you it's like a lot of things are becoming very clear for you this is giving me pain this is not working this relationship needs to end or this thing needs to heal and it's uh, it's it's nice it's very very nice because i really see like the end result is really like you being connected with your you being in your throat you being more beautiful than ever in your true energy here, wild and free. And f from this place of being wild and free, I think this is where we can let somebody in, in the most healthy spiritual way. A spiritual relationship, you know, is not based on attachment. It's not based on needing something from the other person. And, you know, this is something completely fr free, you know. <laughs> One of my best things is when my twin flame leaves me for like weeks or something or days and goes into the forest and we don't talk for like two weeks and he comes back, you know, he's all wild and free. It's like super hot, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, it's very, very nice. So this is like kind of the energy, wild and free, but very passionate and deep spiritual connection between the two of you coming together here. Yeah, very, very nice your vibration is rising, there's, your heart is purging, it's like, it's pain, I feel like this pain in my heart, it's like it wants to crack open, and all the gooiness of the past pain just wants to come out, and it's like, oh, it's like you just want to feel alive and breathe again, yeah, feel alive and breathe again, and this beautiful dream of true love can come through for you, I think for many of you, this is like almost like a childhood dream, yeah, wanting true love, so, <clears throat> study and learning thank you angels for allowing me to see that every day is a learning day yeah you're growing and learning and evolving like big time pile number two mm. i forgot about the archangel michael now i looked at him again he was like yes he's fine i'm here <laughs> so yeah he's like a mentor here like <laughs> i have to check like is everything fine yes everything is okay uh lyra 
Okay, nice energy. Lyra energy, confidence, purpose, potential, fulfillment. Lyra star seeds or Lyra energies are like badass, you know? Yeah, once again, Lyra and nature, yeah. Badass energy. And uh, feline beings and uh, what are they called? The birds, <laughs> yeah. Um, so you could have a connection to cats, ca cats, lions, tigers, panthers, puma, <laughs> a leopard, um, and birds. So we have feline beings, we have birds, and we have like stags, elk, moose, deer. Could be like this, could be. I also hear wolf and, and ravens and all these more like, and mouse. Yeah, some of you have like a spirit animal that's very different, and I think you should really embrace it. Like, I feel like some of you is like, your spirit animal is like a mouse. <laughs> yeah. And I don't mean it like in a very, I mean it like in a very good way because like the good qualities of a mouse, you know, is very nice, you know, cute little mouse. And, uh, yeah, I, I am trying to say something. It, this this is very interesting. It's like almost like it's it's like it should be something. It's like something is trying to interfere. Some of you are struggling with accepting yourself exactly for who you are. Yeah, and this is also connected to the heart and self worth here. And then we have Lyra, this badass energy here. Lyra star seeds, or or yeah, they're very courageous. They're very powerful, they're very strong, they're very knowledgeable, they're very old ancient souls as well. And uh, hmm. Yeah, this is just how you're how who you're becoming. You're becoming more badass, more free, more liberated, more powerful, more courageous. Hmm. <clears throat> Look at that. Merkaba activation. Transcendence ascension you are raising rising up your vibration is rising you are rising up so merkaba is the light body you know they say you know yeah we have an aura but they we also have kind of a light body which kind of activates when we are rising into kind of a higher energy and it's kind of like moves around around us it's like a the vehicle of light almost uh so yeah there's like big things happening with you pile number two yeah, I just feel like this is just a confirmation. I feel also with Merkaba activation, I feel like Metatron, Archangel Metatron is very close to you. You have a lot of Archangels around you, actually. Yeah, a lot of high guides and Archangels. There's like big things going on with you. Many of you are actually in a twin flame relationship or have like some kind of higher mission this lifetime. This is also why it's very speedy. It's very intense at times and it's very like in your face. <laughs> yeah, this transformation, this healing things and a lot of things going on. Many of you have like maybe big purges at times and you're very called to do spiritual work and things like that. Lyra, yeah, you're a very old spiritual soul. So, you know, all of these things are very natural for you. You are very knowledgeable actually and very wise. And I think it's like a lot of spiritual things is very natural for you. I think you have a lot of teachers here, like spiritual teachers and healers and leaders as well. Once again, Archangel Michael is nodding. And this something with a higher mission is definitely, some of you have a higher mission with your twin flame or your divine counterpart here. Hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> Peace, yeah, <laughs> nice peace yeah look at this you went through you were going through all these things there will be a happy ending and there will be peace in your life yeah this will be there will be peace in your life and also you know the merkaba activation the light body activation ascension you're rising up this is kind of like the end stage of your ascension so it seems like you're steadily moving towards that and it's in the plan that you will reach that you will reach the full union with your divine counterpart and you will live your mission. For some of you, it's being teachers because study and learning in Lyra here because Lyra is already the teacher. Lyra are very natural authorities, actually very natural leaders. Yeah, so it feels like you are going to be the teacher. Mm -hmm. You're going to be the teacher. You're learning first and you're ascending and all these things, but then you're also going to teach your, teach your wisdom and... Uh, yeah, you just you just have different missions. Let's look at the last card. Silver Dragon illuminates your potential with higher light. Access untapped resources. Look into your soul. See higher possibilities. Yeah, look at the 
key here. There's going to be a time of your life when you're kind of like the Merkaba is activating, you're reaching really like a higher vibration, the things that were between you and your loved one is healed, you know, your heart is healed, your third eye is healed, you're in union, there was a happy ending here to your dream, everything is fine, and then it's like, you're, then there's, it's almost too much, <laughs> yeah, I can sense this myself, it's like, yes, there's too much light, <laughs> too much spiritual, yeah, very high. Yeah, I feel like I'm ready already. I want to stay here a little bit more. Yeah, because when I tapped into kind of that future, I was like, wow, it was such a highlight. I felt like I needed to wear glasses because it was like, whoa, that's like too much light. But they say you're going to be prepared. You're going to carry like a lot of light vibration within you. You're really going to be activated like big time. And I see this Merkabai light body, you know, it's like around your aura, you know, moving around you. Yeah, super cool. Okay, let's leave that. <laughs> let's leave that. Let's just take three last cards. So, Archangel Michael, do you have anything to say, actually? Archangel Michael. No, it's just, today is just nodding. It's like, yes, this is just it. Yes. Mm. No, yeah, I'm not getting anything special. So, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, let's see here. Uh, we have... Nine, nine of cups and nine of pentacles damn you're gonna have it good you're gonna life is turning out good for you nine of cups wishes fulfilled nine of pentacles yeah rewarded efforts you know there's going to be uh yeah all this all this uh all the work that you you're going through here all the the healing that you're going through all these shifts and transformation all the pain it, it's giving you big results very big results and for many of you, it's going to be like you're going to be financially very, very supported because you have a higher mission that demands you to have like a lot of financial resources. So that is going to be also solved for you. Yeah, you need to know that that's going to be solved for you. Uh, six of swords. Yeah, life is definitely going to be calmer. Peace will be your peace will be your reality. Spiritual inner peace and tranquility will be your reality. Peace in this loving relationship will be your reality. A very nice relationship. Look how beautiful this is. Giving and receiving here equally. Being so connected and so so connected in this higher love is going to be your reality. So you go from three of swords here really to moving away from this. And it's nice, nice, nice. <laughs> yeah, very nice, nice, nice. Six of cups. Yeah, six of cups really is the soulmate card showing this deeper connection that you have from the past. There is a purpose. There is somebody in your life that has a big purpose to be in your life. And it's going to be the two of you, but it's also bigger than the love between the two of you. It's not just ordinary love. It's not just 3D love. It's 5D love. It's even higher than that. It's very spiritual love. It's a very spiritual connection, which allows you to be your own individual, which allows the other person to be their own individual. It's, friend it's based on very, very high spiritual friendship and but passion and love as well, you know. But also, you know, there's, there's once again, there is a higher mission here. You're not just here for love. You're not just here for children and for a home and these things. These things could also be on your path, but there's, there's a, a, something else as well, which is on a higher spiritual plane. Yeah, a lot of light workers, very powerful light workers here in pile number two. And everybody who is awakening, everybody who's awakening and healing, and, and is a light worker, you know, it doesn't mean that you have to be, have a healer certificate, or, you know, you don't have to do this, or you don't have to call yourself a spiritual teacher, you know, you can be working as a janitor, but you are aware, and you, you bring in compassion and awareness in your everyday life, that means that you are a light worker, yeah, so pile number two, this was your reading, if you want to share your story in the comment section, please feel free to do so, either way, pile number two, I wish you all the best, and I I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye. Hello, pile number three, and welcome to reading. You felt drawn to this card. Let's see what we have here behind the tape. Pray. Hmm. Okay, so let's put it here in the corner, and let's just start with the first half of your reading. And we're going to do that by taking three or four tarot cards let's just see so archangel michael has a special message for you what is that what is archangel michael's message for you Ooh, 
Ooh, I really want to take this one as well. <laughs> Let's keep this one. Yeah, <laughs> five cards, that's a lot. Um, okay. Let's just let's just take them. I'm just gonna prepare it like this because it's easier for me to show you them. So let's just do it like that. And we're also gonna take two cards from my own Oroko deck. And if you missed the intro during the month of August, you can get it with free worldwide shipping plus 10% discount if you use the coupon code Lionsgate capital letters on my website nordicl.com. Yeah, I see these two <laughs> coming out very quickly. Okay, and we have two chakra cards. <clears throat> so let's see here. What do we have for you? Ten of Cups. Nice marriage here with Ten of Cups. Uh, ten of Cups, you know, is the complete uh, completion of the Cups, showing uh, complete emotional fulfillment and happiness. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, complete emotional fulfillment and happiness. We have, wow, what's going on? Queen of Wands. <laughs> Even Queen of Wands is, you know, celebrating something here. Hmm. She has a fruit basket with abundance. We have a page of swords. Page of swords. Sneaky. <laughs> page of swords is sneaking here. Is there somebody here in a costume? He's sneaking. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. And we have six of pentacles, getting a gift, generosity, okay. And we have the wheel of fortune, wow. Pray, I think your prayer was heard, yes. <laughs> Today Archangel Michael is just standing next to me and like nodding and giving me like little messages. So it was a little bit different. I don't know why it turned out like that, but yeah, that's just the way it turned out. Sometimes he's like, more in the reading but today it's just like almost like he's a, <laughs> i'm his student and he's watching me so anyways let's leave that to the side you pray i feel like he's saying you prayed first your prayer was heard is the first thing that i hear him say yeah your prayer was heard and it's it's almost like it's it's the wish is granted the wish is granted and they're gonna help you make this happen and there seems to be something in like with almost like with the page of swords here and the man here look at this this is somebody in a costume what's going on here you know it almost feels like he rang the bell and then and then he ran and hid behind like a little child you know hid behind the thing here hmm and then, yeah, and look at this. Even here, leave some. There, yeah, somebody's like leaving something here. Yeah, you're gonna give like a gift here. Even here, you know, with the gift basket outside the door, somebody just left the basket, but there's nobody here. Maybe he's hiding here. It's very interesting here because this house, you know, they look poor here, and this man here, this is a businessman, you know, so he looks like he's rich. So we have Donald Trump versus, you know. Uh, some 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 other place here <laughs> that's a little bit poorer <laughs> so the <laughs> robin hood <laughs> robin hood take from the rich and give to the poor you know so <clears throat> you're definitely going to get something even with the wheel of fortune like almost like your gift your 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 wish is granted is what i hear let's do these cards as well curiosity <laughs> and celebrate yeah there's a little bit of a you know with curiosity here it's <laughs> i think like there i really feel like this is going to be like a divine intervention I, and i feel like almost like archangel michael is like full of laughter and love like i feel like a lot of love coming in from him now and it's really you asked for something and you're going to get it it's like very simple message you're going to get it. You're going to get the full completion of this and you're going to be celebrated. For some of you, this has to do something. Success will be yours. Yeah, success will be yours. And they're going to solve the... They're going to solve... Like kind of like, if you are like kind of in a tricky situation, kind of with a bank or somebody that has a higher status than you or kind of a boss or... You don't have enough money for something. I feel like they're going to fix that for you. Something is going to be really like 
<laughs> fixed for you like almost like it's a <laughs> almost like a miracle you know i feel like this oh, once again i feel like you know archangel michael like a little bit like a uh, loving, laughing, angelic energy, you know, an angelic energy full of playfulness and joy. And uh, this is like, this is the energy is being brought into your life here. So heart is underactive. I love, but I lack empathy. And then we have root chakra underactive. I am fearful. This is interesting. I think pile number two, yes, we had a... What was it? I can't really remember anymore. <laughs> pile one, we had root chakra and heart chakra as well. Pile one or two, yeah, I don't know. Anyways, let's leave that uh, to the side. It was pile number one, yeah, now I remember. Yeah, pile number one, yeah, because pile two was something completely else, yeah. Anyways, uh, I am fearful, underactive root chakra, I love... Yeah, so, so I, it's, it's, this is like you... You prayed and you asked for help because you didn't. You don't know how to fix this situation. Another message for some of you. Almost like he's standing here like Santa Claus and taking wishes right now. So for some of you, you haven't even prayed yet. You haven't even asked. And this, he says, if you ask from the heart, I will bring it to you. Yeah, if you ask from the heart, I will bring it to you. And then I'm getting like a second message. It kind of comes from some other place. I, I feel like it's like also it has to be aligned with the highest good for you to receive it. The one of you that have already prayed and asked and you know this is aligned with your soul. I feel like, yes, this is just a confirmation. This is now, he is now Archangel Michael and his legion of angels and other spirit guides are now conspiring here. Yeah, there's a lot of conspiration conspiring here to bring you the opportunities, to bring you the changes, to bring you the doors, the keys, the, the money to make this happen. Like almost like he sent out his like, yeah, he's like uh, angels that were working underneath him and say like, yeah, you need to do this and you need to take care of this and they need to take care of this to make everything just like work out for you. Uh, for some of you, you haven't asked. And I feel like it's important for you to ask. And then I'm getting like another energy that some of you are asking or wanting something that's not meant to happen. And this, I almost, it almost feels like a little bit harsh to say, but this, this wish won't be granted <laughs> yeah, because it's not but I think this is like like one or two of you like a very like side message for some of you you're asking for something that's not meant to happen and for you it's almost like this very hard, hard and I, like I feel like I'm being like a little bit harsh but like Archangel Michael is kind of like showing his sword of truth you know his sword is the sword of truth and he wants you to see almost like the sword cuts through the illusions. So for some of you, it's like almost like you're holding on to something very powerfully and strongly that's not meant to be. And you're pushing and you're pulling because you want it. And it, but it's not aligned with your what your soul wants or what your soul needs. Even getting it won't like make you happy. Almost like getting it will hurt you. So it's like almost like Archangel. Yes, he's nodding now. He's protecting you against something. So it could be like for some of you, you want to, you, you, the marriage here. Maybe you want somebody. Maybe you want another person or you want a job or you want something. For some of you, this is definitely like a person. This person is not good for you. You're praying for the return of this person or for like this relationship to work. But this is not good for you. So even if you're praying for it, it's like almost like Archangel Michael saying this won't happen. It's not aligned with your soul. This will only hurt you more to be together or something like that. So it's like a sort of truth, almost like wants to... Or, or trying to cut the cord here for you to see the truth between you and this person like uh yeah to see the truth it could be also other things like i feel like he's coming in between and cutting things because we had like a little bit of tricky energy even the curiosity here you know who's curious and you know even the page of swords here you know from a shadow aspect also like some there's some trickery going on here so that's another message, two messages here coming through. So uh, for you who resonate with that, it seems to be uh, you're also like Archangel Michael is trying to make you see something and like almost save you from something uh, and make you stop pushing and pulling towards that or holding on to that because it's actually not healthy for you. 
<laughs> nice. <laughs> Honor the process. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Make a decision. Are you choosing to prioritize yourself or another in this situation? Accept divine guidance pointing you toward your own joy. You deserve it. Ooh. Balancing act here. Hmm. The heart or the pen? <laughs> or they're equally balanced here. Honor the process. There's two root chakras under active, so I am fearful. Heart chakra is under active. I love, but I lack empathy. Oh, yeah, so there is, it's, it's a lot of trickiness going on, like in your life, I think. Hmm. So I think just, just to make it clear, like one message was very, very clear. And I think we can't say so much more about that. So the first message that we got here now for, there was one big group of you, you asked for something, wishes granted universe and Archangel Michael is conspiring to bring that to you. So that is your message. That's a very positive message to so keep that. Because now I feel like we're going to some kind of deeper, a little bit heavier energy. So you just take what resonates because it seems to be like a double message here. If both of the messages resonate or if it's just one, maybe it's going to be a third message. Maybe sometime, somehow they're going to be connected. We don't know. Let's just, we're going to continue the reading just to see. I just want to make it like a little bit clear for you. So honor the process. Yeah, for some of you, you're being like saved from something and it's like being, making things clear for you making clear making things clear for you the wheel of fortune you know is all about like transitioning and moving you know yes the wheel of fortune also brings good luck and yeah good things good karma good luck but it's also talking about you know move, moving yeah moving uh, six of pentacles uh, generosity I just feel, I feel, I'm, I'm like, I almost can't leave this, like so, something like almost like holding on to something very, very strongly that's not good for you. So I feel like Archangel Michael's really wanting to repeat that. Some of you are holding on to something and you're holding on very strong and it's not good for you. And you need to trust if that resonates for you. This is not good for you. You need to trust that. It's not gonna get better almost. And it's like, almost like you need to release that for you to uh, honor yourself and for you to be aligned because with the two underactive chakras here root and heart some of you are really like not aligned for you to be aligned again with the butterfly here and the butterfly this butterfly you know this young woman here so it gives me this this young energy it's like uh, you need to move away from this face uh of, I don't know, like immature relate some kind of Im, Im, like you're with somebody immature or you're trusting somebody that's a bit immature. Yeah, with the Page of Swords here, I'm playing tricks, you know, <laughs> trusting somebody that's a bit immature, maybe. Hmm. And then make a decision here. Yeah, let's see what else we got here. Trustworthy friends. Thank you, angels, for surrounding me with people I can trust and love. <clears throat> yeah, I think I said this message. I was it in part one or two? I can't remember. But yeah, there's a little bit like trickiness here. It's like you need to navigate. <laughs> you need to navigate here. But it's hard for you to navigate maybe because you have two chakras that are under active, both Ruth and heart. So that's maybe why you also need to ask Archangel Michael to bring you clarity before you take any decisions. Don't act from a place of fear. Don't act. Don't make decisions or from a place of fear or when you are triggered because there seems to be like there could be like a lot of triggers going on here it's interesting because there's a very positive there's a lot of positive things going on for you that uh, archangel michael is helping you that the universe is conspiring and working out for you but and then on the other hand there's something very heavy here that like m makes me almost not see the positive things Hmm. So yeah, they're you know, balancing here. Whew. <clears throat> Trustworthy friends. It's like you have two people in your life. Or like or you're dealing with two energies. One is like very light and nice. And one is very heavy and tricky. And it's it's like you you almost need help, I think, to 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 get you on the right side. 
I have to say, some of you are holding on way too hard to something that's not good for you. Yeah. And I feel like almost when I say it, you become angry. And I think yeah, that's okay if you become angry. That's a <laughs> clear message that, you know, it's not good for you. <laughs> yeah. So let's try to leave that. Let's see what else we got here. Libra. Yeah, look at this balancing. Yeah, balancing. And Libra also the diplomat, you know. Libra can be the worst people pleaser if we look from the shadow aspect. But let's not do that. Uh, because I think it's not really relevant in your reading here. But... Libra connected to the seventh house. Yeah, seventh house is the house of relationships. Relationships. Uh, it can be romantic relationships, uh, but it can also be business relationships. It can be enemies. And when it's in the seventh house, you know who they are. When they are in the twelfth house, you don't know who they are. But in, in the seventh house, it's open enemies. What? Why am I <laughs> Why am I completely confused? What are you struggling with here? <laughs> yeah, it's like I'm going back and forth. I want to like go to this nice energy, but I'm being pulled down all of a sudden. To I'm being pulled down over and over again to this, uh, you know. And I feel like uh, yeah, I feel like almost stuck. And then, yeah, maybe that's why also you are praying here because it's like yes, help me, you know, because I want to be. And there's so many good things going on for you here, but it's like almost like you're being tricked all the sudden, all the time, and you're like fall back into an old version of yourself. Because I think the butterfly here is like it looks like a teenage girl here, so it's like very young, uh, which makes me think like yes, young, you know, of course. All young people are like a bit immature emotionally because they hadn't had certain life lessons that makes us immature you know then you can be 60 years old and be completely mature emotionally you could also be a teenager and be very emotionally mature of course you know it's not like a uh, cut in stone but like i don't know why i'm getting like very immature energy here some of you are dealing with a very immature feminine energy yeah it could be or any you both look at this page of swords we have this immature man here and we have this so it could be like a man and a woman a girl or a boy I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you need to make a decision here, it seems. Or I want to say, Archangel Michael, help me. I'm confused. Yeah, this reading just confused me. Archangel Michael, I'm confused. Trustworthy friends. And the cards are very positive as well. You know, you have Ten of Cups, Queen of Wands, Six of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, and Page of Swords also comes, you know, with clarity. <laughs> yeah, but just because the, 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 the picture shows this uh, boy here, playing tricks on this uh, man you know this is why also i feel like i i the page of swords shows a little bit more tricky energy here i think it's a good thing to ask archangel michael on help to to get clarity so be sure to do that if this resonates for you because i feel like the more i go into these energies the more confused i become i feel like i'm lost now and i want to come back and i can't <laughs> you know i want to yeah i want to come back to this positive energies that we felt in the beginning i was like oh i can't even i don't even have the power to do it <clears throat> hmm let's see what else we got here angelic frequency angels are here you're safe Pot potent potent connection potent connection but look at this it's like this energy is being pulled. Yeah, so confusion in the mind. Like some, there is, you're being affected by some energy, I think. I think you have some energy in your aura. Or some karmic cords or some cords with some immature feminine ma and masculine energies. And it's it's just, it's, it's, it's making everything messy. It's making everything confused. If we take that away, it looks pretty good actually. <laughs> yeah your life and what is coming it looks pretty good trustworthy friends there's stability here even so curiosity can be people that are curious about you people that are gossiping are curious about you and somehow is messing with your energy this was one of the messiest readings i had in a very long time pile number three so if you want to share your story in the comment section, if you're still here, maybe you got tired of me because I don't know. <laughs> I'm tired of this reading. <laughs> Let's see what else we got. Compassion. Compassion and green gold dragon from Sirius brings universal knowledge to your spiritual pathway. Learn about spiritual technology. Be a transmitter of sacred knowledge. Yeah, I mean, I think what is being brought to you 
is clarity. It's I I think like you know because Cyrus energy. I don't even know what to put this. Let's put this here. Cyrus energy has very high wisdom uh, and knowledge. I I something which I'm download. I think I think you're going to. I think you're getting help with getting that clarity. You know, with the the two these two scales here, or the Libra and and the scales here, it I feel like somehow trustworthy friends is also your angels, angelic frequency angels are here. I think they're coming here to help you, you know. And for some of you, ask you're like yes, help me. You know, I don't know what's going on. Yes, we said they heard your wish. They're they're gonna bring you something here that has been a little bit complicated, maybe on the material level, but they're also helping you deal with something else. So it could actually be that these two things. You're dealing with two things in your life. You're asking for something on the material plane because you get you're getting like a physical gift here. Even the page of swords and the man here like almost looks like a bank or like getting money or something or solving something for you on the material plane. So but but there's also another energy that you're dealing with is very heavy and like kind of like brings you down in some way so they're kind of like helping you with that too your trustworthy angels are coming here to help you wow i feel like my head is going to explode <laughs> yeah i really feel like a pressure in my third eye and crown chakra it's like i feel completely confused and i have to also say of course this is also my energy because i've been meditating a lot lately and kundalini has reached my third eye and it's awful actually because i have these crazy headaches and at times i can't think and it's just like a lot so it's of course it's my energy as well so let's see we took three more cards but we're all like uh you're aligned with my energy because you're drawn to my reading so everything is connected so yeah <laughs> eight of wands wow look at all these keys <laughs> yeah how can you not be confused you have so many keys here you know uh okay <laughs> So what else do we have here? Nine of cups. So wishes. Yeah, you you asked for something. The wish is granted. That was something. And four of wands. Yeah, once again, happy ending. Mm. So it will be okay. It will be fine. It seems to be. They. I feel like. <laughs> oh yeah, I feel confusion. But I think somehow they're gonna help you to find the right key, the right keys that you need to cut through the confusion and see things very clearly. I have no idea if you understand anything that I said because I feel like I didn't understand anything. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, this is just because this thing is going on with my third eye. So I think we're gonna stop there, but Eight of Wands, they are really helping you out here. Nine of Cups, wishes go your wish and your prayer has been heard. And they're doing everything in their power to help you. They're doing everything in your power to help you. To balance whatever is going on here. To bring you clarity. To clear your energy. To make you come into the celebration energy for once. Look at this. Now you're safe in your warm home with the people that you love. Yeah, everything is fine now. Hmm. Okay, part three. This was your reading. I'm so sorry that it became messy. Yeah, I'm going to take like a couple of days off and <laughs> try like to work this energy through. But if you want to share your story in the comment section, please feel free to do so. Either way, pile number three. I wish you all the best and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.